Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Christy Kijarina. It's Wednesday, October 23. In Squiz Kids Today, a Samoan summit is underway. Dogs break a world record. Ray Gun shoots out Halloween and Trump mans the Macca's drive through That's what's making news kids style. The Lowdown. On Monday, Bryce told us about some very special visitors to Australia, King Charles and Queen Camilla. They've been busy making public appearances, including a trip to Parliament House in Canberra and yesterday attending a barbecue in Sydney's Parramatta cooked by some expert sausage chefs, those brilliant surf life-saving volunteers. Mmm, can you smell those sausages sizzling? This morning, though, the royal couple is saying goodbye to Australia and heading to the Pacific island nation of Samoa. King Charles has an important job to do there. He'll be attending Chogham. Wait, what's Chogham? It stands for the Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting. It's a meeting held every two years where leaders from the 56 Commonwealth countries come together to discuss big issues like trade, education, democracy and, hot topic alert, climate change. As well as the country's leaders, more than 4,000 officials, diplomats and media are expected to arrive in Samoa's capital, Apia, this week. And that's a lot of people for a country with a population of just 220,000. To help out, they've brought in a massive cruise ship to act as a floating hotel for some of the visitors. Pretty cool, huh? Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a new story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Pennsylvania, USA, where former president and current presidential hopeful Donald Trump has been spotted working at McDonald's over the weekend. No, Mr. Trump hasn't switched careers. He's been scooping fries in an attempt to win votes with the US presidential election just two weeks away. But why in Pennsylvania? Well, Pennsylvania is what's called a battleground state, meaning voters there have swung between red, Republican, that's Donald Trump, and blue, Democrat, that's Kamala Harris, in past elections. It's a key state for candidates to win. The McDonald's restaurant was briefly closed to ensure Mr Trump's security while he donned the famous apron. His visit came after his opponent, Ms Harris, revealed she actually worked at McDonald's in the 1980s. As for McDonald's, they've said they're staying out of politics, no red or blue for them, just the classic golden arches. And of course, I've got a link to a video of Donald Trump making those classic French fries in the episode notes. You're welcome. Biggest, furthest, longest. Get ready for this one, dog lovers. A Canadian man in South Korea just broke a Guinness World Record by walking 38 dogs at the same time. Whoa, I have trouble with just one. That's right, Mitchell Rudy led a pack of 38 leashed pups on a walk over one kilometre to claim the record for the most dogs walked by one person at once. These weren't just any old dogs though. Many of them were rescues from the Korean K9 rescue shelter, with some coming from really tough situations. You see, dog ownership is relatively new in South Korea, only really starting in the 1990s. So not everyone knows what great companions pooches can be. This record-breaking walk wasn't just about the achievement. It was a way to promote dog adoption and to prove that with a little care and training, rescue dogs can do incredible things like all walk together in one big happy pack. That's pawesome.
Pop Culture Corner. Ooh, did I scare you? No. Well, maybe that's because Halloween's just around the corner and the spooky season's creeping up on us all next week. If you're like me, you've probably already picked out the biggest, roundest pumpkin to carve and maybe even scouted out the perfect coffin. Kidding. Sort of. But there's one thing I still haven't figured out. What costume to wear? Lucky for us, one media outlet has done the hard work and rounded up the top Halloween costumes for 2024. It's not a shock that Wolverine and Deadpool are on the list, because who doesn't love a superhero with attitude? Beetlejuice has made the cut. Even Elphaba, the Wicked Witch of the West, is getting her wicked on. But taking the top spot this year is none other than Australia's very own breakdancing Olympian, Raygun. She might not be your classic Halloween spook, but throw on that Aussie tracksuit, bust out a few breakdancing moves and maybe add a pouch for stashing all your Halloween treats and you'll be a hit for sure. And speaking of Halloween, mark your calendars, our Squeeze Kids Shortcut next Tuesday will be all about Halloween and we've got a special spooky edition coming your way on Halloween night. You won't want to miss it. So we've been thinking long and hard about how we're going to celebrate the fact that this week is Media Literacy Week. We figured there was no better way than to mark it with the release of Newshounds 2.0, our new and improved free media literacy resource for primary school kids, proudly supported by the Google News Initiative, teaching kids how to spot misinformation when they come across it online. Jump on in via squizkids.com.au, sign up for your free account and get amongst the brand new lessons on AI-generated content and image manipulation. Join the growing community of three and a half thousand Aussie school teachers already using this curriculum aligned plug and play resource to make critical media consumers of their students. With a brand new user interface designed with teachers in mind, it's never been easier to integrate vital media literacy lessons into your schedule. The perfect end of term for activity. Because we owe kids the truth. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. What is the name of the meeting of Commonwealth leaders taking place in Samoa this week? It's a bit of a funny one. It's called Chogham. Question number two. The Republican Party, Donald Trump's party, is represented by which colour? Did you say red? Well done. Question number three. How many dogs did Mitchell Rudy take for a walk at one time to earn a Guinness World Record? Great work. If you remembered, it was a huge 38 dogs. Shout out. It's Wednesday, October 23, International Children's Day. Now, I know we give gifts on Mother's Day and Father's Day, so does that mean all kids should be getting gifts today? What do you think? It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today. Lexi from Aldinga Beach, Dexter from Bundaberg, Jack from Dubbo, Skylar from Burpengary, Eden from Launceston, Michelle from Leppington, Miller from Baronia and Eddie from Maiden Gully. And a belated birthday shout out goes to Arm Tool from Sydney. Classroom shout outs today go to Class 3 Red with Mrs. Hamilton at Marta Day Catholic School in Wagga Wagga. The students in Miss Julie's class at Wambang Lang Public School in Dubbo. Class 3 BR with Mrs. Batterstitch and Mrs. Richardson at Linfield Public School. Class 3 4D with Ms. Bryony at Brunswick Southwest Primary School. And last but definitely not least, Class 3K with Ms. Gahir at Lauriston Girls School in Armadale. 
don't forget if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out or if you're after a classroom shout out drop us a line at squizkids at the squiz.com.au or fill out the form on our website well that's all we have time for thanks for listening to squiz kids today we'll be back again tomorrow in the meantime get out there and have a most excellent day over and out